A true leader can inspire and motivate to work, and only human leaders make history. They make history in Kazakhstan, they make history in any country. We lived in a village where there were always a lot of household chores, but our parents always demanded from us to study very well. I remember I was studying in the eighth grade, and at 7 o'clock in the morning, I went to sell apples. I had to go to the market, in the winter we were selling apples then, and I had to be back before 8 o'clock in the morning, because at 8 in the morning I had my lessons. So when I was a child, I had to wake up very early, I had to work, study, and I had excellent marks during my studies. Then I graduated from university with excellent marks, that is, I had such a sense of purpose since childhood parents were strict with us, because times were hard and our family worked hard, they instilled very good values in us, despite all the difficulties of that time. We've known each other since we were probably six years old. We started to communicate more or less closely when we were probably 10 years old, and we already became friends in high school. I would say that she is some kind of powerful, endless engine. I still don't understand where she gets her resources. Because getting up at five in the morning, running around the city, then working out in the gym, then going to some meetings, and this is not the job of today. Assam has always been like this. It's just that earlier these were activities and hobbies of one format, but today they are more global. If you go through her biography, you would know that she began to study first as a teacher of the German language. But she did not work as this teacher, she worked in the fields of media and PR, she worked in various banks. And it turns out that in every industry and at every place of work, she acquired the skills she needed. Assam is a real example of a woman who can build such a diverse career in IT. She had to build this career from scratch, learn everything, and now she is a top manager in a large quasi-state organization. It seems to me that her main qualities have remained unchanged. That is, when you are a very small child, you have no directions, boundaries, goals. People like Assem are surprising me, who even at such a young age already have some clearly defined goals of their own simply amazing goal setting and incredible power to achieve these goals. There are people who were such mentors for me and who remain in my heart, in my memory, because people who really played a key role in my life. One of them is probably Balzan Tumenbaeva. Balzan and I worked when I started my career at a pension fund. It was 2007. She was then my manager. We worked with her for five years, and she probably played a key role in my development as a leader because she was kind and tough enough. With her, I went through such a very good management school. She was a very young girl, but leadership qualities were already seen. Assam is very unique. She is very proactive. She is ready to go against the market. She is results-oriented, like a leader who clearly knows where she is going. And at the same time, Assam has a good trait. She can insist on her own without violating anyone's boundaries.
constant development self-development makes it possible for you to take more and more new heights, more and more new challenges for yourself and master some opportunities. When you take on more, by the way, Nurlan Batargosian and Balzan Tumanbeva also taught me this, they always loaded me with work that at first glance seems impossible. You think how to do this, but they always told me to take on more and try to figure it out. Then you constantly raise the bar for yourself and develop. And in fact, this is how I've been moving for probably the last 20 years of my career, constantly taking some new directions for myself. You can always rely on her, knowing that she can do more than you give her. I always remember Assem's eyes, a little bit like that with elements of adventurism. She was ready to do something that went in opposition to something. Today's youth, young women like Assem, challenge society and are able to, unlike men, they know how to balance and walk between raindrops and keep the peace and achieve what they want. Therefore, what Assam is doing now means that women act as leaders. The main thing is that she achieves what she wants. Leadership, to a large extent, I believe is innate. We are motivated from within more than externally. So when you develop from childhood as a leader, you want more. You always seem to need more than anyone else. You devote a lot of time to some social activities. You have some kind of civic position. You have courage. Both Asim and I worked in a pension fund, where the main positions were occupied by men who also ran their own business. There were mistakes, there were good things, but we must give Asim a credit for not being afraid. And Asim boldly took on this responsibility, showing their mistakes and how they should be corrected. Показывай их ошибки, как их надо исправлять. Также я с ней работала вместе, и многие вещи, которые. I also worked together with her, and I learned many lessons from various areas of activity thanks to Asem. She knows how to be a good friend, a great mentor. People would follow a very high quality, effective leader, and a person like Asem. Asem uses all his knowledge to the maximum to help other people. Now the world of technology gives many people the opportunity to enter through the so-called side entrance into IT, not from the university bench, but when you are already an industry expert, you already understand how it works. You can educate yourself and enter technology as an expert in one direction or another. Well then, in principle, this is probably a matter of technique and a matter of personal qualities, because building a career is always something that is inside every person. She sets new goals for herself if it suddenly seems to her that she has matured in a certain field of activity. If she suddenly decides that she is too bored and is not performing well below her potential, she begins to look for new challenges. This seems to me such an awesome point, let's say, in her character. When you set challenges for yourself, you go out to fight these challenges, overcome yourself and achieve results. Asim is the ultimate perfectionist. She does not take half measures, and if she does it, she does it well. She has a favorite phrase, I always quote it, do it right. She doesn't accept it when you do something carelessly and always leads by example as it should be. Now, education does not predetermine your entire career for the rest of your life. Previously, historically, professions were inherited from generation to generation. There were generations of artists, lawyers. Now, throughout our lives, we change professions very often. 
We try to adapt to this or that industry, and my career in IT began literally about seven, eight years ago. She herself decided purposefully that I want to get into IT. I want to specifically develop services. She now works for a company where she leads the corporate team itself in developing product launches to the market. This is a huge responsibility, with a huge staff of people under it. Therefore, I believe that she is probably just that role model for all of our women and girls who would like to build a career in IT. Nowadays, technology is coming into every industry. Being an industry digital expert is very important now. That is, you not only know development, but you understand how finance works, for example. If you know finance and know technology, you will be a fintech expert. And in every field, in medicine, in any field, first of all, you must be an industry expert. And technology is the digital skill that every person needs. To work in such a team, to lead IT team, which now consists of 300 people, and in the future to create useful services for the whole country, is such a huge challenge that I came to. And I'm coping with this quite successfully, and for me this is also such a big phase of development, which will probably further develop me and allow me to build my career further and further. There are about 8% of women developers in the world. Accordingly, our percentage is most likely even lower. In our company, for example, there is still not a single female developer. We are constantly working with this and want to somehow help women, mentor them, guide them, that stereotypes need to be abandoned and it is necessary to attract more women. If there are more women among managers, those who know how to make decisions, then all decisions regarding women in the company will be made, well, no less, let's say at least 40 to 60 in favor of women. It is always more difficult for us women to prove that I am also a good leader and so on. Now this trend is starting to fade, there are more and more of us. We show with our results that we are also effective, we can also take risks, we can make decisions, and this will probably just go away with time. During every maternity leave, a woman go back in terms of development for at least three years. A year, two, three years, and during this time a lot of different changes occur. The man is continuously building his career at this time. In fact, the facts speak for themselves. The numbers speak for themselves. Women's salaries in IT are lower than men's, and this is true fact all over the world. In top management, salaries are approximately 17% lower on average worldwide than men's. Although women occupy the same positions and have absolutely the same skills, work experience and so on, they still have less salaries. When hiring, the same thing happens, that is, people may sometimes not think about it, that is, these are some kind of unconscious biases of ours. When they look at the resume of a girl or a guy, they unconsciously choose the guy. It has been the case historically that women are less likely to aspire to leadership positions. Not all women have any ambitions to develop a career. Many people strive to create families, to create comfort in their families. They are more domestic. They do not strive to build a career. And that's okay too. Therefore, there are probably some imbalances such that there are still fewer girls than boys, especially in leadership positions. And this historical trend still persists. You move on to the fact that you really need to work with young people. That is, you already have some kind of knowledge, you must pass it on. After this, the next step, is at which I am now, is representing Kazakhstan in the international arena. 
We, as successful women, as leaders in the digital industry, we are presenting our country in other countries. We can and we should, because we are such good social role models who should position our country as truly progressive. And in fact, women in the digital industry are very often looked at in terms of positioning the country itself. В качестве руководителя это совершенно абсолютно адекватный, здоровый, холодный ум. As a leader, this is a completely, absolutely adequate, healthy, cold mind that perfectly separates, so to speak, personal and work. Let's put it this way, she demands a lot from herself and demands the same dedication from her subordinates. You will not be left alone among a pile of unsolved problems, that is, you will be provided with some kind of mentoring as much as possible, and you will not swim completely alone in unsolved problems. She is a very wise leader and brings her communication skills to work very well. Here I think she has no equal. Asim Asim is the person who, in my opinion, never backs down, judging by the training she does, how purposeful she is, how disciplined she is. It turns out that we do all the training in sports. That is, she tries to do everything as much as possible. If there are moments, even if she goes on some trips, if there are work moments, she gets everything done. Sport is a very important part of my life. Wherever you are, you take running shoes with you. This is a very good habit. In fact, sport is a discipline. There is nothing to do in sports without discipline. Just as in building a career, it is only discipline is needed. Every day in the morning, you have to get up and go to training. No matter what happens to you, no matter what mood you are in, you have to get up and overcome yourself. Running builds character. I think, first of all, it is the discipline of getting up every morning at 6 a.m. You should get up before work. Second, training in any weather whether it is summer, spring, winter or autumn. No matter it is raining, snowing, we are always in action, always at the stadium. Probably it also strengthens our character by setting goals for some amateur races. We combine two very good qualities. On the one hand, we are strong, we can do enough. On the other hand, we are quite diplomatic and wise. We are not so straightforward when we can clearly express something or go into some kind of confrontation. We still know how to diplomatically get out of a situation, recommend something somewhere, advise how to do it better. And because, in general, a woman's energy is aimed at creation. Her strength is that she is constantly moving forward. She sets any goals. I'll even give you an example. We started with Asem. Well, I've known her for about 10 years. So she came to my gym, and until now, 10 years have passed, her strength is in teaching. She is always learning to be the best, most likely. She does not deviate from, for her goal. Eastern women know how to do this. We can be quite flexible and we can probably be quite wise in communications, both with men and in business negotiations. Somewhere we can be strong enough to take responsibility, make some commitments and achieve something. It seems to me that the women of Central Asia are strong because of this. 
With all this, everything is fine with us both externally and internally. And these beautiful, intelligent women of Central Asia, it seems to me, are the women who are capable of making history.